Hi, I'm Mike Murphy, and welcome to The Short, the news roundup from IBM Research. First up, bringing light speed to generative AI. Almost all of the world's communications traffic flows through fiber optic cables, which transmit data at the speed of light. But inside data centers and between computer chips, copper wires carry this data as electrical signals. And in the case of training generative AI models, these copper connections slow everything down and create traffic jams that leave GPUs sitting idle while they wait for data. To help with this, IBM is unveiling the world's first successful polymer optical waveguide, bringing that light speed from fiber right to the edge of chips. This is a breakthrough in the field of co-packaged optics, which helps GPUs run at their full capacity so they can train AI models much more quickly and with much less energy than previously needed. Now, if we could only find a way that I could also travel at the speed of light, that'd be great. Next, clearing hurdles on the path to 2 nanometer chip production. Back in 2021, IBM unveiled the world's first 2 nanometer node chip. And over the last few years, IBM has been working with Japan's Rapidus to turn this concept into something that can be produced at scale. To power the devices of tomorrow, we need to ensure that these chips can be built consistently and reliably, with each 2 nanometer node transistor operating as expected. At this year's IEDM conference, IBM and Rapidus showed that they've solved one of the big issues in production with a new process called selective layer reductions. Before the end of the decade, two nanometer chips will have gone from a minuscule concept to having a massive impact on the future of computing. Next, celebrating the AI Alliance's first anniversary. One year ago, IBM and Meta co-founded the AI Alliance, a group dedicated to driving open and responsible AI development. A year later, the Alliance has grown to 140 members in 23 countries, including the likes of AMD, Cleveland Clinic, Hugging Face, and Yale. And this week, the Alliance announced two new initiatives to help ensure that the future of AI is built responsibly. The first is the Trust and Safety Evaluation Initiative, which will create a comprehensive list of all the evaluation concerns AI developers must tackle when building new software. The second is the Open Trusted Data Initiative, which will include new open data sets as well as data preparation and provenance tools. And in case you missed it, bringing foundation models to the power grid. The power grid makes almost every aspect of our modern lives possible. But with renewable energy sources becoming more common, their specific requirements are putting new strains on an aging grid that wasn't built to handle this kind of load. That's why an IBM-led working group is envisioning a new class of foundation models called grid FMs that can help improve power grid operations for the 21st century and beyond. The group's new paper on the topic was featured on the cover of Juul this month. It outlined how grid FMs can help protect against outages, forecast power loads, smooth out renewables, how, how they're fed into the grid, and much more. The project is in its early stages, but partners like Argonne National Labs, ETH Zurich, and Hydro-Quebec are already testing how grid FMs could address specific needs. For more on the latest innovations from IBM, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter, Future Forward. Till next time.